Skynex The Skynex air defense system is one of the most recent and effective weapons for short-range air defense. It has an open and modular architecture, which gives it the flexibility and expandability to cope with modern warfare. Sensors and effectors can all be linked to fit a wide range of mission requirements. Skynex can also be twinned with a wide range of other weaponry courtesy of its parent company to defend the skies of whichever country is operating it. The system is proving to be a crucial part of the Ukraine conflict, so let's look at why this is the case. Skynex was developed by German engineering giants Rheinmetall and is the brain behind the modular defense system SkyShield. The SkyShield system is a modular, lightweight, short-range air defense system developed by the Swiss corporation Erlikon Contraves, which is now owned by Rheinmetall. SkyShield is a successor to the SkyGuard defense system, and its main battle requirements are to rapidly acquire and destroy threatening aircraft and missiles, as well as to fulfill a role in countering rockets, artillery, and mortars. The promising anti-aircraft artillery system was created on the basis of the existing SkyRanger SkyShield system, and its primary need was to be a deep modernization of it. New components and tech solutions were planned to improve the main characteristics and give new features. In particular, attention was given to the fight against UAVs and precision weapons. The Skynex system is a mobile anti-aircraft artillery system. All of its different parts are stored in containers and then transported between positions by vehicle. One of its main advantages is that it's highly mobile. Before starting work, they need to be unloaded and prepared for firing. However, the firing module can also fire directly from the vehicle. It is Rheinmetall's latest solution for short-range air defense. The SkyMaster Battle Management System is the core of its operation. Various sensors can be linked in a modular way in order to meet the needs of the mission. One or several medium-range radars, like the XTAR 3D Tactical Acquisition Radar, can provide information on targets, which is received in the control node. The SkyMaster network can process this information and attack accordingly. The unit is armed with the Erlikon Revolver Gun Mark III and the Erlikon Twin Gun Complement Surface-to-Air Missiles. Plus, there's the ability to adapt for active and passive electronic warfare, while also being future-proofed with high-powered lasers. The Skynex system is a crucial part of modern warfare and shows how technological advancement is becoming a game-changer when it comes to the new development of weapons. Gepard. Sometimes, the old ways are the best. That's certainly the case with the Gepard air defense system. This anti-aircraft weapon was developed decades ago, but still represents some of the most trusted weaponry when it comes to defending land from aerial threats. It's proof that effective engineering can stand the test of time and become a staple of the battlefield, even at the fast-paced way it's moving. Let's take a closer look at the Gepard air defense system. The Gepard, aka the German for Cheetah, is a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun that was developed in the 1960s as a private venture. In 1966, the Germans needed a replacement for the M42 gun, which was already obsolete. Two prototypes were presented for selection, the Matador from Rheinmetall, AEG, Siemens, and Krauss Maffei, and the 5 PFC-A from Erlikon. At the end of the competition, the Germans thought that the 5 PFZ-A, or the Gepard as it would later be known, was a better vehicle and its production began. Its prototypes were built in 1968 and it entered military service with the Bundeswehr in 1973, known as the Flakpanzer I Gepard. A total of a massive 420 of these vehicles were built for the German army. Its role is to protect combat units, troops, and key installations against air attacks. Its radar, which is used to lock onto targets, is thought to be so accurate that it can lock onto birds. To take out its target, the Gepard is fitted with a two-man, electric-power-operated turret armed with twin Erlikon KDA 35mm guns. The guns work with an automatic belt feed, and each barrel length is 90 calibers, or 3,150 millimeters. The rate of fire with the two barrels is 1,100 rounds per minute. Each 35mm gun has 320 rounds of ready-to-fire anti-air ammunition and 20 rounds of anti-ground target ammunition. The guns are able to fire a range of standardized 35mm ammunition, including the new frangible armor-piercing discarding Sabo or FAPDS rounds. The Gepard is also equipped with eight smoke dischargers installed on either side of the turret. Current Gepard engineers, KMW, developed a missile system for the vehicle using the Stinger surface-to-air missile system. The twin Stinger launching system was fitted onto the side of the 35mm twin gun on a single unit. The system was tested but was not deployed due to financial restraints. 
The vehicle's design is based on the tracked armored chassis of the Leopard 1 main battle tank. The significant difference is the original turret is removed and replaced by a two-man anti-aircraft gun system. It is operated by a crew of three, including a driver, commander, and gunner. The driver is seated at the front of the hull on the right side with a Daimler-Benz OM314 95 horsepower auxiliary power unit. The turret is mounted in the center of the hull, with the commander seated on the left and the gunner on the right. The turret and the hull of the Gephard are of all welded steel construction to give protection against the firing of small arms and artillery shell splinters. Stormer In the 1970s, Alvis Vehicles purchased the design and marketing rights from the Ministry of Defense for this new vehicle and christened it the Stormer. The Stormer was first shown in 1987 as the FV-4333. The British Army has procured Stormers in a modified form to act as the mobile platform for the short Starstreak High Velocity Missiles, or HVM. The first of 151 Stormer HVM systems originally entered service in 1997. On this variant, launchers are located towards the rear together with their target sensors. Starstreak missile's highly unique design significantly differentiates it from other Shorad missiles. Designed and developed from first principles to engage fast, evasive, or heavily armored pop-up targets all in a short time frame, the system is required to travel at exceptionally high speed. Simultaneously, it has to be small and light enough to be man-portable on the battlefield, where it may increasingly need to be deployed in urban environments. The Starstreak missile has a two-stage solid propellant rocket motor and travels at more than three times the speed of sound. Each missile contains three high-density darts with impact fuses and explosive warheads to make multiple hits on the target. The darts are released as the second stage of the motor burns out. The missiles have a range of 1.5 to 5.5 kilometers and can counter even high-performance, low-flying aircraft. However, recent brochures from Thales, the system's manufacturer, indicated that the missile has a range in excess of 7 kilometers. The service ceiling for these missiles is 1,000 meters. The Starstreak also has a semi-automatic line-of-sight laser beam riding guidance. Missiles are guided on the target by the operator, who tracks the target using the optically stabilized sight. Interestingly, the Starstreak missiles are also effective against ground targets, meaning that it would make for a powerful and portable anti-tank weapon. This would be especially useful in situations of guerrilla warfare, especially because the Starstreak is not very difficult or skill-intensive to operate. It's estimated that the darts have sufficient kinetic energy to penetrate the front armor of an infantry fighting vehicle. Eight ready-to-fire missiles are stored in the launchers, and up to 12 reload missiles are carried inside the hull. The Starstreak missiles are also launched from a three-round lightweight launcher and a man-portable shoulder launcher. The vehicle has a roof-mounted panoramic weapon sight and an air defense alerting device for target recognition and prioritization. It can detect aircraft at ranges of 18 kilometers and helicopters at ranges of 8 kilometers. The Stormer air defense system is capable of rapid engagement. It takes less than five seconds from target acquisition to missile launch. The system also has a high first round hit probability. This air defense system has a crew of three, including commander, operator, and driver. The design of the Stormer HVM consists of the driver's seat at the left front, the engine compartment to the right, and the missile launching station at the rear. The hull of the Stormer is made of an all-welded aluminum armor, which provides protection for the crew against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. The vehicle is powered by a Perkins T6-3544 liquid-cooled six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine, developing 250 brake horsepower. The engine is coupled to a David Brown Engineering Limited T300 Hot Shift foot-operated seven-speed gearbox with centrifugal clutch. It has a maximum road speed of 80 km per hour and a range of 600 km. It weighs 13.5 tons, measures 5.6 meters in length, 2.8 meters wide, and 3.4 meters in height. Unlike the rest of the combat vehicle reconnaissance tracked family, Stormer is too heavy to be lifted by a CH-47 Chinook helicopter, but it can be shipped inside the C-130 Hercules and larger transport aircraft.